So um, I'm very happy to, to welcome you uh, to the second day of a China City Conference, seventh annual edition of a China City Conference, already seventh year. Um, yesterday morning, in particular, we had uh, uh, the pleasure to welcome different uh, rising stars, both from China and from the West. And when I mean uh, what I mean by rising stars is uh, mature pre-IPO companies. Uh, some of them were so much pre-IPO that they already IPO'd just a couple of days ago, but it was not uh, the, the case when, uh, when they applied to be part of a rising star, China City rising star program. So I'm thinking about companies such as Chihu, uh, Chinese companies, uh, antivirus company, which has just uh, went IPO a few days ago on uh, NYSC uh, Euronext. I'm thinking also about LinkedIn, uh, we just uh, went IPO last week. I'm thinking uh, um, of um, different companies like that, both from the West and from China, that we, we featured uh, yesterday morning. Yesterday afternoon, as uh, some of you have seen, uh, it was the, um, the launch of a new forum at China City. After seven years of activity, we decided to create the China Planet Forum, which is basically... Um, a special session focused on mobile cloud and uh, mobile computing. And it was uh, really well attended because it's um, basically targeted at developers. And we had over 350 developers attending the, the, the forum. So it's been very, very um, interesting for, for us. And uh, next year, we will probably run this uh, China uh, Planet Forum as an independent event right before the China City uh, conference, which, by the way, well, I will say that uh, later on also, will take place next year on May 24 and May 25th here at Tsinghua Science Park in the heart of the China Tech Innovation uh, Ecosystem. So China City 8th edition, May 24, May 25, 2012, here at Tsinghua Science Park in Beijing. Um, I'm very, very uh, happy now to introduce uh, uh, and to welcome our first guest. Um, it's, uh, I was trying to, to, to find a, a short way to, to, to introduce him. Um, maybe the easiest way is to say that uh, it is probably um, the most iconic uh, figure in uh, tech entrepreneurship in China. Um, he's still an entrepreneur, but he's, but he's also part of the establishment. To just give you an example, uh, a few months ago, I was in the subway for the first time, by the way, fantastic subway in China, and uh, there was Mr. Fang Jun, my next guest, everywhere on the world, not to promote his fantastic company we will be talking about, Igo, but basically to promote a, a bank so like, like a kind of movie star uh, endorse, doing some endorsement. So it's just to, 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 to qualify, to, to tell you a little bit, he's very humble, so he will not uh, talk about that uh, like uh, himself, but just to, 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 to give you um, a little bit of some hints on, 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 on the, the, the character, uh, we are very lucky to welcome. Um, I'm even more appreciative of his support this year that um, he basically had to reschedule a meeting with uh, Prime Minister Wen Xiaobao this morning to attend uh, China City on time. So, uh, really, what, what else can, 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 can we ask? So, please welcome with me Mr. Fang Jun, founder of IGO. 